In the last few months, this faceless YouTube channel earned over $90,000 from uploading these simple AI-generated mystery videos. And if we were to take a closer look, we can see that this channel was started only 11 months ago. And they're not the only one. This AI video that is completely faceless got over 3 million views. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to start a YouTube automation channel using this method for completely free. And this is coming from someone who's been doing YouTube automation for almost 10 years. Not only have I done it for myself, but I also helped thousands of beginners do the same. So in this step-by-step -step tutorial, we will do literally everything from researching niche ideas using AI, creating a new channel, designing the logos, and obviously creating our first video together. By the end of this video, you will have your very own YouTube automation channel for free. So there are actually seven steps to achieving this. And at the end of this video, I will share a simple secret that allowed me to grow this channel to over 700 thousand dollars in ad revenue and that can literally help you go from zero to ten thousand dollars a month as fast as possible to make things even easier for you i built this step-by-step -step blueprint document where i will leave all of the resources and prompts that i will be sharing in this tutorial it's gonna be linked in this free community that is in the description box once you join for free just click on tools and open up this post and you're gonna find all of these different guides you're gonna be looking for the youtube automation starter blueprint and that's gonna open up this blueprint that you can copy to your own Google Drive folder right over here. So step number one is going to be to choose the right niche for yourself. I have a list of a bunch of these AI channels that are getting views and getting millions of views and making money posting AI videos. If we were to go to this channel, for example, they already have 1.9 million subscribers. And if we were to open up any of these videos, you can see that they're not even using stock footage, but they're generating most of these shots with AI. AI and they have an AI voice and no one is really showing their face in these videos. Besides that, I'm also going to list a thousand example channels that you can go through and see which one you could potentially replicate. Step number two, you want to analyze your competitors. One of the easiest ways to do this is to open up similar channels that you are trying to replicate and then simply go to the comment section to see what people are talking about it. And then you can use this prompt that I will leave in the document so that you can basically just go to chatgpt.com. You can take that prompt from the document, you can copy and paste it here. And then right where it says comments, you're going to go back and you're going to copy the comments from that video that you're trying to replicate, because this is then going to give you information as to what kind of video you can make and what parts of the video need to be different in order for your audience to like the video more. So you're basically borrowing the feedback that this channel has gotten from their viewers to make a better video yourself. So the biggest problems and viewers have in relation to this video if some viewers are seeking a deeper understanding of their spiritual experiences, the nature of angels as indicated by the reflections on biblical texts and personal encounters. And top three things to include in a similar video to keep viewers happy, they're listed here as well. Step number three, create a name for your YouTube channel. For this, you can also use this prompt that I wrote for you, so you can copy and paste it into ChatGPT and just make sure to insert your niche over here. Once you do that, ChatGPT will then give you 10 different name ideas that are short and easy to remember as well. So I really like heaven script. So I'm going to go with that one. Now you simply have to go to gmail.com. You want to click on create an account for my personal use, give it a name, enter some basic details about yourself. And once you're done, click next and agree to the terms of service and privacy policy once you've read it and simply head over to youtube.com then click on sign in. And now you essentially have your YouTube channel created. Now step number five is extremely important. And a lot of gurus will tell you that you can use some magic AI tools where you press one gut button and you have a full script and a full video done for you, but you can try it yourself. Go to those AI tools. You will see that those videos don't get views because they're generic and they sound too robotic and people can smell that it's fully AI generated. And the lower the effort, the easier it's going to be for everyone else to do the same. So how are you going to stand out? And let me show you something. If you were to go to chat GPT, for example, and you feel you were to ask it to write a YouTube script in a particular topic, you can see that it's going to sound very robotic. Hey there, everyone, welcome back to my channel where we dive deep into fascinating
fascinating topics of history, religion, and beyond. That sounds too robotic, it doesn't grab attention, it sounds generic, and people can smell that it's AI. And anyone else that comes to ChatGPT or any of these magic AI tools is gonna have the same kind of script. So what I've been doing for the last few weeks is I've been developing and engineering a prompt that I will be using for my own YouTube scripts. This is a full prompt that really explains to these AI tools how to write the proper script with the right hook, with the entire formula that is hook, intro, introducing a problem, exploration, climax, and call to action at the end. Everything is very, very detailed. So you can basically copy that and then go to chat the GPT and have a fully written prompt that's going to allow you to create way better scripts. So if you just have to enter your niche over here, video format, style of writing, I personally always prefer to have friendly style of writing and you can describe what the video is going to be about. This is where you want to enter as many details about the video as possible. And these are the only four things that you have to customize about this prompt. And by the way, you can copy and paste it for free. It's going to be in that free document as well. And now look at the script that we're going to get. It's going to be way, way better, way higher quality. It's going to use better words that are not generic and it's not going to start with something boring like, hey, welcome to my channel, but it goes straight into the hook. It grabs attention and it keeps the viewer watching because that's extremely important. Otherwise, you're not going to get views. And also look at this. This video got 3 million views and they're 35 minutes long. All of the other AI tools would generate videos that are less than two minutes long, which obviously doesn't really work very well on YouTube. Now, I also made a checklist that you can follow to make sure that your videos go viral and get views. And the more views you get, the more money you make from your YouTube channel. So this is the checklist that I go through when creating these videos. First, I ask myself about the video idea, about the script writing, and then the editing as well. So I'm gonna leave this checklist as well in that document so that you can make sure that your videos follow the checklist to get as many views as possible. Now, in terms of creating a voiceover, a really cheap way to do this is to go to 11 Labs. You can then click on Go to App, and once you have the script written for you, you can just select one of these voices that would suit pretty well to your channel, and feel free to test in between these. Sometimes you select one of these, but it doesn't sound really good, so you can just switch to another voiceover, and they mostly sound very natural and real. So I'm gonna use this sentence as an example. I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste it into 11 Labs to just show you how this sounds. I'm gonna click on Generate Speech, and let's listen to it together. Even the mightiest of angels can fall, but what if there's an angel so mysterious, so veiled in secrecy, that its true nature remains hidden even from the most devout scholars? This is a really good voiceover. So I would click download and then you can copy and paste the entire script from here and then you can use that for your YouTube video. Now you're gonna go back to ChatGPT where you had the script generated and you're gonna say, based on this video script, make a list of prompts that I can copy and paste into Leonardo AI to generate images for each scene. So now you're simply going to take this prompt, you're gonna head over to Leonardo AI, you're gonna click on launch the app. This is a free AI tool that's gonna allow you to generate those visuals that are going to be showing up in the video pretty much just like what they're doing here. And you can see that they pretty much have the same AI visuals that we're going to have in a second. Just select the preset to be Leonardo Phoenix. And once you have that, paste the first prompt here and click generate. Now you're going to go back and then take the second prompt for the second scene. And each scene is going to be about three seconds long. Here's the first image that was generated. I will generate the next one here. And what's really cool about Leonardo AI is just the fact that we can click on motion on the left hand side and then we can select these images that we just generated and we can click confirm and now this image is going to become fully animated. In the meantime, I'm going to go back to chat GPT and I'm going to say based on the video script, what genre of music should we add? You're then going to go to Google, search for YouTube audio library, click on audio library right over here and this is going to give you all the copyright frame music that you are actually allowed to use in your videos. If we to go back to ChatGPT, we can see that we have cinematic, spiritual, those are the kinds of genres that we can go after. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select the genre, cinematic, and then apply, and then I can listen to one of these.
I really like this one, so I'm gonna click on download. Then simply go over to CapCut.com, click on new video, select the aspect ratio for YouTube and upload those files from Leonardo. To make things as engaging as possible, I recommend that each scene is less than 30 seconds long. So we can see that this one so far is 1 and 20. And the faster the scene changes, especially in the beginning, the better. You can then go to the effects section here. You can then add this mist effect. Click on basic and just make sure to reduce it a little bit, about 60. And you can also reduce the speed as well. You can then add some simple animation to these images. I always select a combo and something that's slow. And now even more important to make it even more engaging, you want to click on captions. You want to click on auto captions, click generate. They're going to show some captions on the screen, but they're not going to be the best. So you want to click on animation. You want to select the bounce out animation so that we only have one word at a time, which is going to make it really engaging as well. Then you want to change the font. The font that I usually use is either Sora bold or Red Hat displayed bold italic. You can then make the text slightly bigger, add some sort of shadow, reduce the opacity of this shadow just a little bit. And if we were to watch the video so far, here's how it actually looks like. When selecting the animation, make sure to click to apply to all so that it shows up through the entire video. Now you just want to keep generating scenes with Leonardo AI so that you can keep adding them to the video to make it as engaging as possible. Once you're done, just click export and click download and download in the highest resolution possible and click MP4 format, click export. And now it's going to be ready to go live on YouTube. Now, if we were to look into what kind of thumbnails these guys are creating for their YouTube videos, especially the most popular ones, you can see that these are mostly images generated or taken from the video itself. So for thumbnail image, I would just go to canva.com and I would search for YouTube thumbnail. Or if I want to start from scratch, which is what I recommend, I will click on custom size and select 1920 by 1080. Then simply upload that image, but make sure that you do click on edit image and increase the brightness because you want to make sure that your thumbnails pop and they're easy to see. If it's too dark and too complicated, then people are not going to be able to see what's going on. Another thing I like to do if you have Camera Pro is you can click on background remover. It's going to remove the background and then you can add the image again. Let me show you the trick here. So you basically just add another image once you remove the background and then position it to the back, then click on text, click on add a heading and just add some text that you think would work pretty well in your niche or with this video. Select a font. I personally either go with Articulate or with Montserrat. Then make sure the text actually stands out from the background and then you can position it behind this figure. And now it looks a lot higher quality. Now you can see that there is not much contrast in between the background and the text itself. They're both really bright. So you can't fully read the text, which is bad. And I will actually first change the text a little bit so that we can make it bigger. Click on the text, click on effects and just add some shadow as well so that it actually gets separated. Now that my thumbnail is ready, I will click share, click download, download as PNG and now it's ready to go live. So in this case, we're going back to YouTube, click here to upload the video and then click here to upload the thumbnail that you just made. Now, in order to actually make money from these YouTube videos, your channel needs to be approved into YouTube Partner Program. And in order to get approved for the YouTube Partner Program, you usually need to wait six to 12 months. And for all of that time, you would be posting content that wouldn't earn a single penny. So to avoid that, you can now get instantly monetized. I will leave a link to this in the description box down below. So that way you don't have to wait and you can just start posting content right away. And that way essentially make money from day one. And that's exactly what I did with all of the channels that I was talking about in this video. Either way, everything that I mentioned in this tutorial is linked in the description box down below. I hope you learned something new. If you did, I will see you in some of the next ones as well.